वेलकाम टू एडेमिक डिस चैनल योर बेस्ट चय क्लसरूम माइ डियर स्टूडेंट अफ एस एस सेकेंड इयर टूडे उर गोईंग टू डिस्कस एबाउट फार्स्ट चैप्टर अफ द सबजेक्ट एडुकेशन द टाइटल अफ द टपिक इज I mean to say, such topic is Secondary Education Commission, 1952-53, and aims of secondary education. Dear student, you observe carefully. Here are two points. One is Secondary Education Commission, and another is aims of secondary education. So, if you observe. the title it means that aims of secondary education as recommended by secondary education commission aims of secondary education that means what should be the aims of secondary education according to secondary education commission why it is 1952-53 because the commission set up in 19 52 in 23 september and the commission submitted its report in 1953 in 29 august as it was set up in 1952 and submitted the suggestion and recommendation in 1953 so it is called 1952 53 secondary education commission is also called mudaliyar commission because dr lakshman swami mudaliyar was the chairman of the commission in an in an acknowledgement of his chairmanship and of his name secondary education commission is also known as mudaliyar commission the commission studied the whole situation of india and finally recommended mainly four aims of secondary education dear student you remind it once again the commission observed the whole situation studied the whole educational situation needs of the people needs of the society then recommended four aims of secondary education at that time the aims are likely in the way of 1 2 3 4 5 as it is written in the board you observe it according to the mudaliyar commission the first aim of secondary education is development of democratic citizenship number 1 is development of democratic citizenship number 2 development of vocational efficiency number 3 development of personality number 4 education for leadership let us discuss one by one for a little time number 1 development of democratic citizenship according to the secondary education commission the aim of secondary education should be uh, should be development of democratic citizenship or prepare the children in such a way so that they can make success of our democracy so all the qualities of uh, demo, all the qualities that needed for the citizen of a democratic country should be developed for the medium of secondary education then number 2 is development of vocational efficiency so let us try to understand vocational efficiency vocational efficiency efficiencies are those efficiencies which enable individual to earn after the completion of a particular course so vocational efficiency make people actually complete in their life they can take the economic responsibility for individual for the family for the society that is why 
education of secondary ed- uh, level should be prepared the curriculum should be prepared in such a way we such a way curriculum should design in such a way that ultimately the student of secondary level gradually become efficient to produce something to do something practically in their life it should not be only theoretical as recommended by secondary education commission number 3 development of personality personality is a psychological term it means image of an individual in his society or the fellow people that is why we should prepare such personality we should develop ourselves in such a way that a good image can spread in our surrounding so our children and the wealth of our wealth of our country our children should be prepared in such a way so that they can do all the goods for the society i mean to say all the good for the society they can ensure the well being for the society they can ensure well being for the individual life for the family life and the national life and as a whole in international life that is why attractive personality should be developed for secondary education and as a whole the curriculum should be designed in that particular line it should include variety of subject which can fulfill the needs of variety of needs of the people and which can meet up the individual difference of the children and number 4 education for leadership generally we have a misconception in younger age that political leaders are the only leader actually it is a misconception due to lack of experiences so who are leader leaders are those people who can lead a group of people and we need leader in all the aspects of our society we need leader in the political uh, political field we need leader in the cultural field we need leader in the line of games and sports everywhere we need the leader so our children have variety of qualities and we have individual difference also we have talent all the individual have different type of talent so we can foster those talent in such a way they can lead our society from different areas where we need so dear children i mean to say dear student today in summarization we can say that in education of higher secondary second year it is the first chapter and the subtopic is secondary education commission or modal year commission and according to modal year commission these four points are aims of secondary education so if the question is asked what are the aims of secondary education according to secondary education commission or if the question is asked what are the different aims of secondary education according to modal year commission the answer will be same i think all the children all the students of second uh, higher secondary secondary level will be benefited from this class we will meet in next video till then thank you